How important was it um, over Christmas, mate, that you, you got at least one game played? Because uh, I found it a nightmare, mate. Like, Boxing Day was the only day I could le- legitimately go out uh, and get away from the, the family. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say yeah, literally go out and get wasted Christmas. there, Shanks. But then, yeah, but then, uh, but you managed to get the game ahead against the Ospreys. How important was that for for you and the team to at least have a game? Because you haven't played for ages, had you? Yeah, really important. Um, the frustrating thing for us, sort of, you know, obviously the two South African games were called off, um, mm. Bristol as well, but the, the other games, sort of the Bordeaux, the Cardiff game, were called off last minute, so. The prep had been done all week, so we'd work hard all week. And you know, you go through a process, don't you, in the week of prepping team, review, uh, preview, preview, I'm sorry, team. And then, yeah, emotionally, we were getting ourselves up for the game. And then the Bordeaux game to be called off Friday afternoon for a Sunday game. So we, we'd literally finished our last training that week. Mm. Uh, the Cardiff game to get called off Christmas Day, you know, our post, post, our captain's run and everything done. So um that's the tough one i think you know getting getting yourselves up for a game emotionally to be stopped then uh now obviously this game this weekend has been called off yeah. but you know we're wednesday so we we only brought the lads in yesterday so we have monday we didn't bring them in on monday so we trained yesterday and then we were in tomorrow for, for a good bit of prep now obviously that game's off now for this week so it's just the uncertainty and, and having that game last week was so important for us, you know, because we, we had a number of cases and, and, and you know, having to go through that uh, medical side of it, go to URC and the medical advisory committee and, and everything. And, and for us to actually have the game and being able to, you know, we could feel the 23. So I think for us, it was important that if we could feel the 23 that we play. Mm. Um, and, you know, for, you know, it was for a number of reasons we needed to play and uh you know luckily enough we got on the on the right side of the scoreboard which is great you know because so it was um you know it was a, it was a good it was a good weekend how pleased are you with with the performance in general because like you say you haven't played for a while the boys seem to front up defensively you know you seem to be more aggressive you seem to be winning more collisions against the ospreys who have been the, the top welsh team so far yeah, look, I, I, I was pleased from from that point of view physically. So when you look back to obviously having time in isolation and, and not playing games, you don't really know where you are physically. Um, mm-hmm. But I go back to before South Africa. Obviously, we didn't play in the autumn when the autumn series was on, but we put a lot of hard work in there and uh, physic uh, on the physical side of the thing. So we didn't really know. We hadn't really tested it really in training. We felt like we were in, in a good place physically, but. You don't know until the games. Um, mm. So to be able to be to be really competitive like that, and as you said, obviously defensively, I thought we were good. We were a bit loose at times in the pack first half, especially we were rusty. We threw a few offloads we probably shouldn't have, but towards the end of the game, I felt like we were, you know, we were good value because we kept all of the ball and we went through phases and we looked we looked decent towards the end of the game. So um, you know, I, I was pleased pleased from that perspective. I think. Obviously, scored two tries in the last one, sort of twenty odd phases, so to win the mm. game. So, um, yeah, look, I, I, no, I, we talked about after the game, and you know, highlighted the importance of what the medic, the athletic performance and medical department have done, and and um, you know, we from, from that perspective, we were, we were pleased, and you know, disappointed this week can't go ahead now because we want to we want to back games up. Yeah, like everybody wants to back games up, and there's so much. Um, Nothing's clear at the minute. There's so much uncertainty of when the games are going to be played, what the rest of the season looks like, what EPCR looks like next week, what Champions Cup looks like. You know, I think that the clarity, the not, not having clarity, is a hard thing for for everyone at the minute. It just sort of just on that, Peely, is it is it just about impossible for you to keep momentum behind? Because I looked, I knew you hadn't played for a while, but you played on the 22nd of October. And then the first of January, and I know there's there was autumn windows within that, and then some yeah. COVID stuff, and then the French team couldn't travel. But to actually, because when we've seen Scarlets play, and when they play well, they look superb. But to actually keep that momentum and continuity, is there a way to do that, or is it literally just you need games back to back, like you said? Oh, we need games, but like we've we try to be as competitive as we can in training. So 
having the actual numbers to train, you know, has been has been the big thing for us. So we get 30 guys, a lot of 15 v 15 type stuff in training. And but it's not like it's you know you, you can't replicate a match with opposition that you're not used to. So like it's it's very difficult. And yeah, you're right, John. I think that the the continuity stuff is is is, is very difficult. Um, you know, everyone's sort of in the same boat. Like and as you said, like it's it's January the first, and we played six games this year. You you guys in particular have been just the the, <laughs> the combination of like I said, COVID and the other stuff is just. Yeah completely smashed you guys this year yeah it has it has so we haven't played any games and you know we just need to keep on top of it and i think that what what probably we've we've tried to do is get more consistency in our training rather than having big blocks away because it's easy to say like are oh, the games off take the rest of the week but we've been we've been quite quite hard on, on the training side of things so kept some continuity in training which which hopefully in turn because the reality is there's going to be a mass of fixtures now moving forward where our plan was to have um we had two we obviously the derbies we got two champions cup then we go to belfast play Ulster, and that was it then for three weeks and then we had two games mm -hmm. in the nations um but uh, look we don't know how six nations looks for us now we i'd imagine that we we try and play games throughout there there's obviously there's two south african games that have been rescheduled how that looks as well is very uncertain isn't it so we uh yeah, just got to get on with it week by week, unfortunately, you know, so um, and, and also training and things being flexible because another example, for example, would be next week. So we're meant to play Sunday against Bordeaux. Now, if that gets if, you know, if that game doesn't go ahead and we reschedule, if another game gets rescheduled in, which potentially that could happen, then then when does that game and it affects your training and everything? So. There's a lot of flexibility and a lot of moving parts, but you just got to get on with it the best you can, really.